guys, it's Rachel Gilly, licensed Texas realtor here in Austin, Texas. I decided to go ahead and um, make a video about moving to um, Austin and specifically moving to Austin from California. Um, this one really um, kind of hits home for me. Um, I actually moved to Austin about 12 years ago um, from the Silicon Valley. Um, and have absolutely loved it. So I just kind of wanted to share my experience for those of you who are um, moving out here for work, thinking about moving out here um, for any reason, really. Um, so Austin is known as the tech hub of Texas um, and has recently received the name um, the Silicon Hills and companies like Tesla has moved its headquarters here, Oracle, um, Apple has an office here, Google, Facebook, um, Samsung um, has a very large um, office here um, and they are working on building a plant um, just northeast of Austin. Um, and so it just, the list goes on and on with all of the different tech companies um, that you can find here in Austin. Um, the other question that I get a lot about um, is what is the cost of living in Austin? So the cost of living in Austin um, is not the lowest that it could be, but for a major metro area, it is relatively low in comparison to some of the big cities out there. Um, the average home price in Austin as of the end of 2021, so just recently, um, is right around $550,000 for the average home in Austin. Um, whereas like somewhere like Silicon Valley, where I'm from, um, the average home price right now is about 1.18 million. So almost double, um, what you would, um, you know, pay for an average home. Um, something to keep an eye out for though, um, and really, really make sure that you work with a realtor who will take the time to go over tax rates with you. So property taxes in Austin are higher than they are in California. Um, and they vary quite a bit. I've seen property taxes, um, on homes that I've shown as low as 1%. Um, and especially if you get an ag exemption home, I mean, the, the taxes are nominal. Um, and then I've shown other homes to clients where the tax rate is 4%. Um, so the difference between those two, um, can make a huge difference in your mortgage. Um, and if you're trying to qualify for a loan, um, that can be a big deal. Um, so something to keep out, uh, an eye out for, um, and that tax rate can vary, um, within a subdivision even. Um, there are some people who pay an extra 1% in the same subdivision. So you wanna really look at that um, during your home search um, here in Austin. Um, also with taxes, um, Texas does not have a state income tax. So that helps out a lot. So whereas you see a higher property tax rate here, um, there's no income tax um, at all. So um, kind of you know helps to balance that out a little bit. Um, let's see the weather in Austin. So Austin has a pretty mild climate, um, relatively speaking. Um, it doesn't really get very cold here. Although the past two years we've seen some ice and snow, um, but it's definitely not the norm. Um, and we average, um, according to Google, um, the average right now is about 300 days of sunshine. So pretty much, um, you know, on board with uh, California as far as days of sunshine. Um, you're going to have plenty of um, days to hang out outside and enjoy some outdoor activities. And um, as far as activities go, um, there are tons of opportunities uh, like uh, to do lakeside activities. And um, so Lake Austin, um, and Lady Bird Lake run through Austin proper. And then on the west side of town, spanning from northwest down to southwest, the whole west section um, has Lake Travis. And that's um, a really fun lake community to be a part of. Um, yeah, boating, jet skiing, you can take out your kayaks and um, just enjoy the sunshine and the water and cool off in the summer. Um, 
With that, there are parks galore. Um, Zilker Park is probably, you know, the biggest, most famous park in Austin. Um, and it's kind of like a Central Park type thing. Um, and they have always got fun stuff going on there. Um, and then um, all over town, you'll see little pocket parks and um, lots of opportunities to, uh, you know, read a book in the grass or take your kids to the playground and lots of time can be spent outdoors. And um, with that, there are also a lot of festivals in Austin um, and a lot of them take place in Zilker Park. Um, some of the festivals um, that come to mind, um, some of my favorites are South by Southwest, um, which usually happens in March, um, and um, ACL, Austin City Limits. Um, and that one is, um, it was one weekend, now it's two weekends a year. Um, and so super fun music festivals, you can get out and about um, and enjoy the sunshine, listen to some music um, and have a great time. Uh, along with that, we just um, recently, in the past couple of years, um, have had a major league soccer team move into Austin. So Austin Football Club um, is now here, um, and so that's a fun activity to do. Um, another sporting event opportunity um, is F1 or Formula One. Um, and you may be familiar with um, Formula One racing, um, and it's you know, was primarily a European race event, um, and Austin was the first to get a F1 track. So that's been um, quite a fun experience to go out and see the races um, and enjoy that. Um, and they also put on really great concerts during the F1 event. Um, and recently they've started using the track for um, other festivals and events throughout the year as well. Uh, let's see, what else? Nightlife. Um, if you like to go out and let your hair down and do a little partying, there's tons of opportunities in Austin for nightlife. Um, you can always find live music. Um, and so uh, it's just a really great place to be if you enjoy socializing and hitting the town. And um, there's some pockets in downtown Austin um, where you can find streets that just have rows of bars and live music. Um, and then there's the domain area, Rock Rose District. They have um, kind of been an up and coming uh, nightlife spot with tons of restaurants um, and high end nightclubs that you can check out and do a little dancing um, and have some fun on the weekends. Let's see, what else? Um, Austin is super dog friendly. So most of the festivals you go to and uh, restaurants you go to um, are dog friendly. You'll see people out and about with their dogs everywhere. Um, and Austin also embraces a very artistic culture. So um, Austin's motto is keep Austin weird. Um, and so that's a big part of our, um, our whole culture here is just, you know, embracing um, individuality. And um, anyway, that's just a real general overview of um, just some highlights of Austin. And um, if you're moving from California or moving from anywhere, um, I would love to answer more questions for you. I'll be releasing some more videos that are a little more specific um, to neighborhoods and um, events. Um, and so be sure to subscribe and I'll release those soon. Bye, y'all. Rachel Gilly here, Austin Realtor.